So, a short video on how to update your analog pocket because it turns out it's actually not that easy. Um, yeah, first thing, uh, you'll actually need a SD card that does not come with the analog pocket. So, let's go onto the PC with a SD card and yeah. Alrighty, first thing first, turn off your analog pocket. By the way, you'll need a SD card adapter. Uh, then you go on to support. I'll actually leave a link in the description pocket and then you have the firmware update right here download that there we go there we have that then you're gonna put the sd card into your pc there we go that is my sd card then you're gonna transfer the pocket firmware file onto the sd card it's actually how big is it i'm actually wondering 53 megabytes that's interesting uh, yeah, then safely eject it so we don't accidentally corrupt it. It's really rare to happen, but it does happen. Put the SD card into your analog pocket, just like this. Oh, okay, so you need to bounce it in. Yeah, cool. You don't even need a long nail for that. That's cool. And then when you turn it on, it should start to update. Oh, you need to hold it. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. And it's updating. Let's see how long it actually takes. 53 megabytes. Was it 53? I think it's 53. Yep. Pretty slow. It's actually interesting. This, like, device has... Is really interesting. So, there you have the docs. How much does the dock even cost? You can even update the dock. Um, the dock needs to update through the analog pocket. I don't have a dock, so I don't know how to do that. Um, yeah, if you have any other things you want to update, is there anything else you actually can update? Probably not. Yeah, so I'll come back when it's done, because it's pretty slow. Mm, it's been about three minutes, and it's still on 0%. That's interesting. It's getting a little warmer. Huh. So, uh, I have actually checked and Reddit says that it's a common problem. So, let's try to turn it off and try to reformat it. The SD card is FAT32, by the way. So, let's try to reformat it. System firmware missing. That's pretty brutal, actually. Well, I mean, let's try to reformat it. All right, and second try here. Okay, let's let it be like this for a while. Yeah, I mean, it's still doing the same thing. That's interesting. I mean, let's try another SD card, I guess. So, here I have a 64 gig one. I mean, it's third party, but it's a SD card, so it does not matter. Let's try to transfer the file over to that. Okay, let's try to put it in the new SD card into it. There we go. Now it's going up. So, I'm guessing some of you have the same issue. I guess I'll be making two videos, one where I say how to update it and one where I say that there's an issue and how to solve it. So just use another SD card. Uh, both were FAT32, uh, even the 64 gig one, even though 64 gigs don't really support FAT32, does not matter. So it worked now. Let's come back to this when it's done. And there we go. It's done. I guess maybe it factory reset itself. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks like it actually factory resets itself after an update. Uh, what's new in 1.1? 1, 1. 1. Yeah, that's 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, you can actually set the date. Interesting. Now it's August the 28th. Uh, the time... Boom. Wait, is it AM, PM? PM. I'm not even uh, that good with these dates. Yeah, it has a game in it. American dates. Oh. Now you can, like, see region, even region. But it's not region locked. That's interesting. That it knows, like, the region. Yeah. That's it. Game detail, 
Quit cartridge memories. Tools. Yeah. Developer. Yeah. So, that's how you update the Game Boy. Not the Game Boy. The Analog Pocket. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.